Hello, this is Ross McKenzie, and uh, I have not done a video on review in God knows how long. And today we're going to be doing a video review on uh, Star Trek, the original series. And if you'll forgive me in this review that I am going to read some of the titles of the episodes in this series because it's just there's a lot to remember in this so I'll be doing that alright sadly as you know um, Leonard Nimoy the great amazing absolutely fantastic Leonard Nimoy uh, died at the end of February and it was a sad a very sad day for all Star Trek fans and for me, um, I guess I couldn't help but wonder that the fact that he left us with such a legacy, and I don't, th I think a legacy that will never ever be recreated again in science fiction period. I think that. He was one of the most important figures in science fiction history. Everyone, I don't care who the hell you go on the street with, even if people don't even watch Star Trek, they know who the hell who the hell Spock is. They know who he is. They know who he is. He's the guy with the pointy ears. You know, the Vulcan with the pointy ears. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yep. They do that, and every time. When they do that, you know, when they do this on the street, you know, you know exactly who that is. You know who it is because everybody knows who Spock is. Not everybody knew who Leonard Nimoy was, and, and I'm not really going to get into it because I need a lot of videos to do so, but Leonard Nimoy was a talented man. He was an artist. He was a poet. He was a director. He was a producer. I mean, this man did everything he possibly could in the in the industry of the arts. That was his, basically his forte, and his. You know, it doesn't matter whether he was doing Star Trek or not. He was always in the arts, the entertainment arts. That's what Leonard Nimoy was, okay? Now, this is going to be a two-part video telling you about what I think of Star Trek and some of the episodes and stuff like that. I mean, some of my favorite episodes. And I think that Leonard Nimoy was one of the most... I read up on him, and he was probably one of the most amazing reads I've ever I've ever read. I mean, there was nothing this guy just di didn't do in the entertainment arts. He did everything. That's what's so fascinating about him. A lot of people don't know that. So that's what I thought. Is that I wanted to get to know after he died. I wanted to get to know the man that Leonard Nimoy himself. You know, the man himself. And I believe that that he there was a lot of things we don't know about him, and there's a lot of things that uh, you don't know about people that you that um, you follow through your whole life watching on television, and you suddenly know things about him that you never knew before, never knew before, you know. Um, okay, so let's get into our first review. Let's get into Star Trek Season 1. Now, Season 1 aired around 1966, around the mid, um, around 1966, and, uh, forgive me, this damn camera is kind of, like, uh, going up and down, but, um, it came out in 1966, it aired on, on television, on regular TV, on, uh, on CBS, and a lot of people don't know that that Star Trek was basically made 
from um, a company called Desilu that you're absolutely right if you think that is a company that is uh, that is sponsored by Lucy Lucille Ball. Yes, it was Lucille and Desi Arnaz. It's hard to believe that that Lucille Ball was the godmother of Star Trek. I mean, I, you make this, and she's just the god. She's the godmother of Star Trek, and it's absolutely amazing to me to know that she really had she been alive today, if she would have seen. The fact that this show went on for 50 years on television for 50 years and has spawned, you know, four different spin offs. All right. Not including Star Trek, but four different spin offs. I mean, Star Trek The Next Generation, uh, Star Trek. Deep Space Nine, Star Trek Voyager, you know, uh, Star Trek Enterprise. These were all different series upon themselves. And the fact is, is that these series have spanned 50 years of history here. That's a long time. It is the second longest running science fiction show in television history behind Doctor Who of course and the fact that the, of the matter is is that Star Trek has over let's just put it out there it has over two billions of fans okay and uh, I apologize but I do not want to pick up this camera again um but it has billions of fans, okay, around the world, all right, it's worldwide, and I believe that, that come next year, I believe personally that they should do something like, like Star Trek, like Doctor Who did, where they world, world, a simultaneous world telecast, live telecast, for the Star Trek fans of a show, like a three-hour show of the history of Star Trek. Now, that's not too much to ask, being that it's 50 years. This thing has been 50 years in the making, man. Next year, we're going to get a new movie, you know with the director of the Fast and the Furious movies, which I know a lot of people are like, well, come on, he's from Fast and the Furious. Well, no, now come on, let's give him a chance, you know. Because we got some things on there that, you know, we got so we got Brian Cranston coming on and stuff like that, possibly coming on and stuff. I mean, let's give this guy a chance, man. Well, we can't just sit here and say, you know, well... You know, this is just going to be a complete flop. You know, it's almost a year and a half away. We don't know. We don't know. So I'm willing to give this guy a chance to see whether he can make a Star Trek movie. But I think that the movie should be dedicated to Leonard Nimoy. I mean, come on, man. He was, he was one of the biggest things in Star Trek. I mean, come on. He was captain's, the captain's, he was his first officer. He was his friend. And he was almost like a brother and a father figure to to to, to William T. Kirk. Hey, come on, you got you got to understand that that if they don't dedicate this movie to Leonard Nimoy, there's millions of fans around the world are going to get so pissed. I will be mad if they do not dedicate this movie to Leonard Nimoy. I will be really upset because I think that he at least deserves that, you know. All right, we're going to get going in the next two videos, okay? I didn't expect this to go on this long. We're going to get going in the next two videos, and we're going to to be able to... I'm going to tell you what these sets consist of, in case you want to buy them, and also...